I, uh, I went all in on Gym Launch. I, I basically fire sold my other businesses. Several years ago, Alex found himself at rock bottom, both financially and emotionally. He was buried under a mountain of debt, faced the looming threat of bankruptcy, and was desperately searching for answers. And so anyways, I, uh, I got in the head-on collision. I, uh, I decided to make the next, uh, the next move, which was going all in on Gym Launch. And this is uh, the beginning of yet another hard road ahead. Little did he know that this was just the beginning of a remarkable journey that would lead him to financial abundance. Like a lot of times I think the great thing that we have um, is sitting right in front of us after we let go of, of the things that are holding us down. Alex Hormozzi underscores the vital significance of concentrating on a single goal rather than attempting to manage numerous endeavors simultaneously. Uh, you know, a system will grow to to up to its basically its bottleneck, right? And then until you relieve that, like systems will grow as long as they're not constrained. He believes in the theory of constraint, asserting that a system's growth is bound by its bottleneck. Until you remove those constraints, progress is limited. Many of us, he notes, unknowingly carry constraints, often in the form of limiting beliefs. And for me, in a very real way, I had constraints in terms of um, all the different things that I was allocating my attention to. I had, you know, I think literally like nine or ten business, businesses, I'll use quotes here, um, that I was trying to run at the same time. This unsustainable approach left him with minimal resources to allocate, forcing him into a relentless cycle of work and even dependence on alcohol to find respite. And that was one of the biggest lessons that I've had is that like you have all these skills and experiences and character traits that you developed to show for it. Like the entrepreneurial journey is one that improves you, not anything else. And so that's why I'm such a big believer in that stuff because like I had these things, these assets that I did not value. Alex Holmes shared that after selling six businesses and spending a lot of money, they were left with only $23,000. This was tough for Alex because they had invested a lot of time and effort in building those businesses and had little to show for it in terms of money. However, Alex realized that the skills, experiences and personal growth gained through the entrepreneurial journey were valuable assets and this motivated them to keep going. In the following month, Alex was able to make over $100,000 in sales, which showed them that they could succeed even when they had very little money left. So here's what happens next. I get a text from uh, a guy and he's like, hey, my brother lives in the same city as uh, where you're starting your new gym. And I was like, uh, or not starting, uh, doing a launch. I was like, okay, and he's like, yeah, he's a salesman, he really needs a job. Um, he's, got, uh, he's got a baby and he's got another one on the way and um, it might be a good fit. They trained this new guy and he turned out to be an amazing salesman, making $120,000 in sales within a month. Alex was thrilled because they needed that money to kickstart their new gym project. It was a great first you know, launch for somebody who's new, which also kind of proved the model to me because I had done it, Layla had done it, but we never had someone else who wasn't like super tied to me doing it. Obviously, Layla was more invested than just, you know, just an employee, right? However, things took a stressful turn when the payment processing company that was supposed to send the money didn't do so. Alex tried calling them, but they gave excuses and delays. Christmas Eve arrived and the situation got worse. Keep checking, doesn't hit. I call them, they say, hey, you're in an annual review. Uh, it's standard, nothing to worry about. And I was like, that's weird. I've been with you guys for five years. I've never had an annual review. Interesting. Alex had to demand the money, but the company decided to hold on to it for six months because they believed Alex's business didn't fit their usual criteria. And, um, and of course, I was a little bit stressed at that time. This made Alex really upset. They had a tough conversation with the company. Meanwhile, they still owed the salesman a $22,000 commission, but they only had $23,000 left, and that money was also stuck with the payment processor. And so I owed a $22,000 commission check and I had $23,000 left, and it was on money that I never received. And so um, in, in congruence with the, the lesson that I had learned from you know, the, the clean exit of all these other things, which was like, just do right by everyone, and then you won't have any emotional scars that you carry with you. Despite the frustration, he knew it was essential not to let anger and negativity linger, as it could harm them emotionally. This experience taught Alex that treating others well, even in tough situations, was a valuable lesson that they would carry with them. So Alex Hormozzi explained everything to Layla, including having only $1,000 left and the upcoming gym launches involving six friends who had quit their jobs, set for just two days later on the 26th. There was also the credit card with a $100,000 limit, but Alex knew it was a risky move. Alex told Layla that she didn't have to stay by their side through this uncertain situation. In that moment, something incredible happened. Layla told Alex that she would stand by them no matter what. She said she would even sleep under a bridge with Alex, if that's what it took to get through this tough time. And um, 
that was like this was the moment for me that I that I knew I was going to marry Layla. 48 hours later, with only a thousand dollars in hand, Alex went to work. And that was when I just like I wanted to like you know I would I would have been teary, but I was so emotionally numb at this point that I just wanted to just like keep moving forward and keep 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 getting through it. They created ads, set up campaigns, and built sales funnels for their gyms. Alex remembers turning on the ad campaigns and feeling intense anxiety, thinking it could all go terribly wrong. And uh, I remember turning the campaigns on for all the six locations that we're going to do. It was like off to on, off to on, off to on, off to on. And I remember I was sweating. I was literally sweating when this was happening because I just felt such dread. I was like, this could literally just ruin me. I, like right now I have no money, but I'm, I've never, I'm not in debt. They had no money and they were about to go into debt at a rate of $3,300 per day covering hotel costs, airfare, food, advertising, and commissions for six guys. So I started all this, and I had no way to process money. So these guys are getting leads, they're making calls, they're closing deals, and I can't process the money. Alex tried reaching out to everyone they knew, asking if they could help process payments and send the rest. Unfortunately, no one was willing to do it. And so no one would process the money for me. And so um, I called you know, every person I knew, and then I finally got uh, in touch with a guy named Alex Roy, at the time uh, who specialized in like high risk processing, which is basically the category I was in at that time. And he said, I can get you set up. And I was like, okay, cool. He agreed to set them up with a processor, but it came with restrictions like holding a reserve and putting limits on how much they could charge. You can, you can charge. And I was like, okay, cool. He said, they'll give you a $50,000 limit. And I was like, dude, I, I need like four times that. And he was like, sorry, man, that's what I can get you. Alex ran $50,000 in a single day and was sweating with anxiety, thinking it could all go wrong. But slowly, they started to get more processes and things began to stabilize. In February, they managed to process $100,000 in sales, which covered their credit card bills but left them at zero. The next month, they processed even more and actually turned a profit. Alex thought they were finally on the path to recovery, but then March came around. There's more to the story. It gets worse. Some of the gyms they had launched in January told their clients they could get a better deal by refunding and signing up directly with them. This resulted in a massive hit to their bank account, causing more financial stress. And I felt like I was in a death trap. I was like, I don't know how to get out of this. Like every month I have to sell more to cover the refunds from the month before, but then the cash from these things I'm gonna need to cover the next month and sell even more. And honestly, I had no idea what I was gonna do. At this point, Layla still had some reservations because she wasn't entirely sure about Alex. During this time, she was making around $3,000 a month from her online coaching business. She had transitioned her personal training clients to online coaching and was doing quite well with it. Alex had an idea. Instead of going through a middleman, why not sell weight loss programs directly online? This was a significant shift from the traditional brick and mortar model, but desperation drove Alex to try it. Um, but anyways, I was like, you know, I was in absolute desperation. In a state of desperation, Alex wrote one of the best sales pages of their life, fueled by sheer need. It took them two to three days to craft this sales letter, and they were completely absorbed in the process. They began running online advertisements to the sales page and started making $1,000 a day from online sales. This was all profit, minus the advertising expenses, and Alex realized that it could actually work. However, when Alex informed the gyms scheduled to launch the next month that they were changing direction, the gyms were disappointed and pleaded for assistance. Some gym owners had heard about Alex's success, signing up hundreds of people in just a few weeks. They wanted to know the secret, but Alex initially declined, unwilling to fly out to help them. Eventually, Alex agreed to teach them, but set a high price of $6,000, the maximum amount they could imagine at the time. This was because they didn't want to get involved if it wasn't worth it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't miss our next video on how Ali Abdal made $10 million with just a YouTube channel.